Hello, this is Kestel, and welcome back to Tundra Tower, and let's play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last time, well, last time we basically spent the whole time in this tower. This time, we're hopefully going to reach the top. Um, any time now, actually. At least that's what I'm hoping for. A magic core. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure these guys are something we fought right near the very end of the first Golden Sun. So, you know, that's, that's neat. Having said that, I'm pretty sure I was in my early to mid 30s when I finished Golden Sun 1, so. Hmm. Food for thought. Ooh. Real! Heh <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's there! It's there! Notice that by doing this, we have blocked the way back. But behold, the Burst Brooch, which I'm not going to give to Jenna, because come on. Come on. She has too much of this crap already. <laughs> nope, Pierce gets it instead. Because who needs why? I mean, seriously. Anyway. So here's the thing. I'm not even going to bother with the retreat. We all know I'm not going to be able to retreat out of here. No, the trick here is simple. That synergy we just got? The power of burst! Well, the description says it all. It breaks tracked objects. Including, among other things, doorways. Oh, that's what that was for. Let's see. You know, now I'm going to use Retreat, because I can probably use it from here. And it'll, it'll save time compared to actually climbing down. Now I want to go back in, because there's still two things we want. First of all... There was... Somewhere around here. There was a broken mirror type deal. Which we can now break. Probably to get that stuff. So, you know, let's get that stuff. I like getting stuff. Who doesn't? <laughs> uh, right. Burst! This is another one of those synergies where it really feels like you should be able to use it in battle. But I'm quite certain you cannot. Although, I guess I could test that quickly enough. Synergy... nope. Which is sort of a shame. Like, there's a lot of synergy like that where you really should be able to do something within battle. Like, um, well, let's see. You can use Whirlwind in battle. Um, Scoop is maybe not a good example. Sand you could probably use for defense. Retreat is really... I mean, you could do something in Battle of Retreat, but it would probably be better off not. Because you would just use it to run away, right? So, not really the best. Lash, Pound, and Cyclone, though? All of those are things that could have interesting battle effects. Blast could. Part, well, maybe... Again, Part is maybe not a great example, but anyway, you get the idea. You get to the idea. Now, Silk Feather! And a lucky metal. Forgeable. Ooh. Now that thing, that thing is a good thing. I don't remember a lot of, well let's be honest, I remember hardly any of the forgeable equipment. But I do remember one of them. Um, sort of. There's either a boot or a ring. Which that tells you how well I remember, I don't even know what item slot it goes into, but anyway. You can turn that feather into either a boot or a ring, which provides a massive speed boost. And it's actually just a really good item. So we're gonna really hope I get one of those. Yep, Lock and Mess Energy didn't really help you out there, did it? And we also got the Lightning Sword and a vial. So let's check out the lightning sword. Is it stronger than the than the cloud saber? It 
is slightly stronger. That's kind of a shame, because since the Cloud Six, Cloud Brand? Yeah, the Cloud Brand is literally based on a mythical item. Like, a real world mythical. A anyway. Then again, this is sort of mythical as well. Not as mythical, but. At least I think it is. Look. I don't know very many Japanese legends very well. I know there's a few different ones with, that have to do with lightning. And one of them may or may not have not, eh, let's try saying that again. And one of them may or may not have something to do with a sword. I'm mostly just guessing, I guess. Oh, that's not great. Well, anyway. Now we can give this to Shiba, so... It all works out, really. Mm. I just sort of wish the Cloud Brand lasted a little bit longer is all. I mean, obviously it's not an endgame equipment or anything, but it's just a really cool sword, you know? Ah, wow. Also, Felix and Pierce should be closer now. I mean, Pierce still isn't going to hit as hard as Felix, because Felix is a freaking beast, but at least now they have weapons that are almost equivalent to each other. And of course the other thing in here is this. It is... Its name is... Oh. Oh, it's this. I thought it was a summon tablet. Well, that's important too. What is the centerpiece of a trident? An important item. Important indeed. We will get to find out all about that shortly. Uh, meaning in an episode or two pro- well, maybe this e wait. Let me go outside for a sec, I need to ch I need to check my map. Um, what well, we may actually find out about that this episode, but I would put my- but where to put my money on it, I would say probably next episode. Um, having said that, I have a long walk over here, and then a lengthy boat ride. So, I'll just explain to you wh where I'm going to go. First, I'm going to go here, because I want to forge that item, and sell my stuff. After I go here, I am then going to head to the next place in the... Uh, whatchamacallit, the trade sequence, so to speak. Yeah, the trade sequence with the milk. Because I know where that is now. I checked. So I'm going to go there next. Because, and I'm going to try to finish off that sequence this time. Um, and that might take up the rest of the episode, actually. Uh, having said that, I... It's going to take me a long time just to do all the walking and sailing, so I'll, I'll meet you at the blacksmith. See ya! And we're back. Yes! Yes, I do. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Save first. As always, I'm relatively committed to my no save scum policy with the blacksmith. But I know there's one really good item I can get from this, and I know there's one, well, and I suspect there's one really bad one. So, so you know, the temptation exists. In any case, we'll see. Hopefully he'll just give me the thing that increases my speed, and I won't even need to worry about it. Hopefully indeed. Gimme, gimme, gimme! It is a hat. Okay, what does the hat do? Raises luck and... Well... It doesn't increase my speed, but that's still really good. It's a good defense increase, a point... A 20% increase to luck is actually a big deal, and it increases wind resistance, which is maybe not 
the most relevant thing on. Okay, who has better luck? Uh, freaking Pierce does. <laughs> well, Felix has good luck because he has something that increases it. Uh, and can anyone wear this hat? Yes. I don't want to swap your hat because it increases your attack power though. And that's probably more valuable on you. Even though higher luck is still really, really good. Mmm. I don't really care. Yeah. Well. This is better on Shiva th than it is on Jenna. But I feel like I should probably give it to Jenna because. Well, first of all, Jenna has slightly higher luck. No, she doesn't. But Jenna does have a better. Uh, better attack power, so she can use her luck more effectively. Then again, this will also increase my chances to actually inflict status effects with my Ginny. Mmm, yeah, we're gonna give this to Shiva. And I can pass the this thing on to you. Because it does because it is strictly better than the platinum circle that you're wearing. And now I can go sell all of my junk again. Guess what? I'm back! 30. Man, these things are not even worth selling. I should just throw them out. I mean, not the mace, obviously, but the battle items, especially those common drop ones, cannot notice. We cannot even sell this. That's how important it is. It's kind of a big deal. Even if we don't know why yet. Yep, sell that. Um... Now, there was one other thing, was there not? Maybe not. Hmm. There's the weep on, there's the hat, there was the- No, I guess that was it. Huh. Well, okay then. So, it's not what I wanted, but that's still a really good item. So, I'm happy with the hat. On that note, um... I have another long sail ahead of me, so I'll just meet you with- we get close to there. See you in a couple minutes. And I think we're close enough to come back now. For reference, if you can't tell where we are, I, I don't really blame you, we are here. In this area. Man, it's been a while. Um, yeah, this is where we landed, wasn't it? How did, how did something that was connected to, let's see, Oh, it was actually here? Uh, to here? You know, that doesn't actually seem all that unreasonable, to be honest. I mean, it's still sort of unreasonable. The fact that the whole land, island thing moved as if it floated, but... It, and anyway. We're going in here. And fighting bees. Because, why not? Um, but no. There's a little island in this area. And that is where we're going. Right here. West Indra Islet. For real! No. My pop's the best sailor in the Eastern Sea. That's why he can go anywhere, even on that tiny boat of his. You're lucky, mister. You get a ride in the, on your boat in the open sea all you want. My dad will be done with his boat soon, and together we'll be able to sail anywhere we want. Reveal! No. Reveal! N oh! Haha! -ha! I knew it! There is a lucky medal in each one of these places. Haha! -ha! Eleven, that's more like it. Ever since the tidal wave moved Indra, we haven't been able to go to Gondolin's western shores. Huh. Well, okay then. Reveal! Yeah, I didn't really think there was anything in here. Yep, yeah, that that happened. I mean, how do you think how how the hell would I have sailed here without realizing it moved? Come on. Anyway, we want to talk to this dog here. Uh, and by talk I mean mind read. Sniff, sniff. I smell fresh milk. Why a dog wants the milk, I don't know. At least it's not lactose intolerant like cats are. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, sure. Oh, it's a baby turtle! That's adorable! We probably saved this turtle from lunch, actually. Um... <laughs> anyway... Anyway... That and the lucky medal is what we came here for! Now we just have one more place in the trade quest line before we're done. And you know where it is too, because we've been there before! I accidentally went to it early. We are of course going to the Sea of Time Islet. You can probably guess who we're meeting there too. Um, having said that, this is kind of a lengthy... Well, you know the drill. <laughs> it's going to take a couple minutes to sail over there. So I'm going to meet you there. See you in a minute. And we are here. Again. Back. Back again. Guess who's back? Felix is. That's how that one went, right? <laughs> Not only are the lyrics wrong, but it's completely out of tune. Well, I never claimed I could carry a tune. So, let's get over here already. I think you know who we're talking to. Yes, of course it is! The Toidle. I'm so very sad and lonely. I wish I had a friend to call my own. Hey, you got an itty bitty turtle top, don't you? Why don't you set that little guy free with me? At long last, I have a friend. Lonesome George is... I am no more. I am so happy. I don't have much to offer in return, but I can show you. <gasps> My secret spot. <laughs> Behold the turtle's secret spot. Here we are. When you want to go back to the island, just let me know. Welcome to Islet Cave! Um... Hmm. I have a feeling this is going to be short, but I'm going to stop off here. I'll join me next time when we explore the cave. Until then, this has been Cast Balloon. Have a good day. Bye!